Hey guys, it's Luke from DLM here, and today we're going to be looking at what the Terra Prismas look like with a bunch of different dyes on them. Now, you might be wondering how I got too many Terra Prisms, uh, a body, I used a hack. I did an illegal and I downloaded a hack. Um, if you watch one of my other videos, you can, you can see how I did it. But we're going to have a little dance with uh, Jacob the Guide, and then we're going to run over here and run through what some of these dyes look like. Look like. Now, I've done some of these dye experiments with uh, the Flamewalker boots recently, and a lot of the dyes have some really cool effects, and I have done a quick peruse through these dyes, and let me tell you, some of these dyes have some goddamn cool effects on this many Terra Prismas. I reckon there's probably like 30 or 40 of them there. Not an incredible amount, but more than you should, any, any real human being should have. So let's jump in first with the Reflective Obsidian dye. Oh, I didn't even realize I originally had one on. So we have Shadow Flames Hades die, and let's move this in a little bit. You can see that it adds a little bit of like a buffer between it, which kind of makes all of them look like they're on fire. Not nothing incredibly important, but you can see the difference between when it's on and when it's off. Because the actual item cycles through a, uh, I guess a gradient, uh, no matter what die you have on, unless it overrides that gradient, it, it still changes color, which is a very cool effect. And no matter what die you have on, there's still this... Uh, kind of like light effect that occurs behind it. That's never changed. But let's run through all these and, and have a little a quick little peruse at each of them. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the tail end of the um of the terror prisms even when my inventory is open. Let's start with blue flame and black dye. Yep, that's incredible. It does <laughs> literally nothing. Uh, midnight dye. Mirage dye. This one does a little bit, but it's very hard to see. You can see near the handles and the cross guards. Uh, there's a little particle effect added, but this one really is is nothing nothing immensely incredible. This one, again, has a very similar effect where it adds a little just particle effect near the cross guard, but again, we're getting through some boring ones at the start. I promise you, they start getting a lot cooler. So this is a groovy looking one. It turns everything green and it kind of cycles from, I guess, dry green to uh, a very, very acidic green, like the name would imply. Uh, then we're going to jump into intense one. This looks cool. This looks like those old lollipops I used to get in uh, Australian corner stores. I'm a, I'm a very big fan of this one. Uh, even if you didn't have 30, I'm almost certain this would be a, a high priority for your Critter Shampoo. Next, we have Green Flame and Black Dye. I don't think this one... Oh, I was incorrect. Uh, this one looks like... Like, it's got some value, but if you have the ability to have anything, this probably wouldn't be up there unless you're going for some specific thing. When you're running, it does give off a very cool effect, especially at night, and a lot of them do look a lot cooler at night. I'll cycle between day and night quite a bit between uh, through for this video, sorry. Uh, let's run over to Flame and Black Dye. Very cool. It gives a very, very similar effect, except in a different uh, color scheme, I guess is the correct word. Uh, gel Dye. Now, I know this is a cool looking one. Look at that. Look how gosh dang cool that looks. That's a really cool one. I'm a big fan. Um, they stay like a very sharp blue color and it adds a cool texturing color on it. Uh, I'm a big fan. You can see the difference very easily. Uh, Grim Dye is another cool one. It turns everything red. And I will attack one or two bosses with some of my favorite dye patterns at the end. Because uh, I think that's definitely something I'll get comments about if I don't. Let's run along to Reflective Dye. This one's nothing too, too special. Um, it makes it a little bit, I guess, have a bit of a, a bevel or a stroke around the edges. I'm using Photoshop turns. This is a cool one. This is a gosh darn echo. This is a good one. Um, it looks very intense, which I guess is good or bad, whether you, depending on your opinion. But you can see how um, it changes in a like a wave formation, which is really cool. It almost looks like those old, uh, like Matrix esque screenshot screen savers you get. That's a very cool one. That's one of the top tiers. This is another cool one that kind of works how you'd expect it. Um, it almost makes everything look like a negative, um, but runs through some very cool colors. Let's jump over to uh, Vortex Dye, which is another good one. I really am a fan of this one, to be honest. Look at that. Look at that. That's flipping groovy. Um, it looks really cool with the, the lines behind it, which again aren't changed, but depending on the color scheme you're running with the dye, it, it looks very, very articulate, very, very, very indignified, dignified. Uh, this is another cool one. All of the vortex slash living ones look very cool because um, they have a little animation that looks very vibe worthy. Reflective copper dye, nothing incredibly special, just changes the color scheme a little bit and adds another bit of a bevel. 
Uh, intense rainbow dive. This is another really cool one. It doesn't, it isn't animated, I guess. But I mean, look at that. That's a, that's the kind of stuff you want to see when you're going through these dives. It's really, it's a dream come true. Let's chuck that up to the top for once we're going to fight some bosses with. Uh, next, we're going to do blood, which is okay. It makes it a bit darker, but uh, a bit redder and a bit darker, but not as dark or red as the grim dive. So I don't think this one has uh, too much to show that's unique. Next we have Void Die, which is another one of the like Stardust tier ones, Stardust Vortex, blah 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 blah. It just changes the changes the color scheme. Oh my gosh, sorry. This one barely does anything. I'm an idiot. Yeah, this one barely does anything. Useless. Incorrect. This is a very cool one. This is a very, very, very cool one. I like this one quite a lot. It makes me do the big happy inside. Um, blue acid dies coming up next on the Channel 9 News, and you can see that it makes a blue. And it makes it acid. So it's very similar to the acid dye, except with a blue tint. Uh, it's not as impressive as the gel dye, in my opinion. The gel dye just has a little bit more oomph to the color palette. Uh, maybe a little bit richer colors. Um, black and white dye does nothing at all. Yep. Oh, it adds a stroke around the edges, but it's nothing too impressive. Uh, chlorophyte dye is sick. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. My, this might be the one which is easy to see during the day. Look at that. It would be kind of cool if this one specifically didn't have the trails running behind it, but I really like how cool this looks. Um, very Grim Reaper-esque. And our last one for the day is Violet, sorry, Violet Gradient Dye, which, <laughs> which just makes it a little bit violet. Uh, it's not worth going through all of them. There are quite a few dyes, but a lot of them don't do anything or just have very minor effects that don't... They're not a very transformative approach to the <laughs> the Terror Prismas. But with those top three up there, which I think were my favorite, and I hope they were your favorites as well, let's fight one or two bosses and see how they go. And Intense Flame Diet. We nearly forgot that one. That's so cool that it's on my bloody glasses. Uh, let's check those four against one or two bosses. Alrighty, so we're in the Hello during the night. I think it looks much better at night. And we're going to fight some of the Empress of Lights or some... The Empress of Light multiple times. Uh, this is the Intense Rainbow Die. Sorry, it's a Midnight Rainbow Die. Uh, I honestly think this one might be one of my favorites. It's such a groovy looking thing. Uh, the Empress of Light is getting absolutely slaughtered. So let's summon one more just for this one. And you can see it looks really cool as they're fighting. As the entire sword changes color over the course of the battle. From really rich reds to blacks. Uh, I, I thought you were dead. Uh, no offense. Uh, let's go to Intense Flame Die. Which is, I mean... I'm not going to say all these are cool because you've already heard me say it. So, let's check this out. Poor em Empress of Light getting killed by her own sword. There we go. Ah, every time I think you've got her, she just teleports away. Alright, let's go. Next one, which is we got another prismatic die. Intense rainbow die. This one should be very interesting to see in action. Uh, let's go. Oh man, they really do look like a hundred little candy canes. That's a very cool one. I'm a big fan of that one. And last but not least, uh, I think that was all of them actually. Um, oh, it was gel dye. I, I must have accidentally deleted the gel dye. Uh, gel dye, please come back. Gel, gel dye. Uh, let's just do let's do pink gel dye because we've already seen. Okay, now nah, let's do regular gel dye. Regular gel dye looks better. And this will be our last one. Let's just use the whip, hey? Just for a little extra damage. There we go. Alrighty. So they look alright. Uh, I think the intense rainbow die, or the midnight rainbow die, and the uh, flame die are the coolest two ones. But that was my video on what a lot of the different dies look like when they're chucked on 60 terror prisms. I have no idea what the number is. If you don't want to see the rest of the... Let's give ourselves an angel thing. If you don't want to see the rest of the... Um, what's it called? Um, the rest of the summons with a hundred minions. I do already have a video on that, um, but I might make a video on what the different summons look like with a all the different dies each if people really like this concept. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.